um, compared to the star in the entire of universes. So it has numbers of them. Uh, naturally, most of the virus found in the oceans are in where they attack the bacteria and other microorganisms. So don't worry about this. But for the number of the virus, they are numerous and we cannot count them. 10 million times compared to the star in the, uh, our universe. So it's a very big number. And this is the size of the virus you can see. Then it's very, very small. It's 10,000 here. Scales is 10,000 nanometer, just one micrometer. So the virus is something like here. It's very small. And we have numerous types of the virus. You can see they are really diverse in the shape here. So we have the HIV, hepatitis, Ebola, adenovirus, influenza, rabies bacterial phase, papillomas. So it's diverse, like in the bacteria, diverse in the, the shape and the structure also. Here is the structure of the virus. The virus structures, we have the protein coat. Um, all of them have a protein coat or the capsid. Or the capsid here, you have they do have the capsid. This shares information. Most of them have the capsid, and in the protein shell, uh, they made a protein molecules, <clears throat> and not just the one big cell, but hollow ones. And protein join to make units. We call the capsomer. The capsomer is with together we make the capsid. So actually, the proteins and proteins code. Together, we make the capsomer. And finally, we have the capsid. So the capsid protein always encoded by the virus genomes. is mean is the virus is not from the host cells and they provide the instruction for the making them. And they do have or cells or some of them is naked, which is mean that they don't have the envelope. But some of them have the envelope. They are much more common in animal virus than there is in the plant cells. So it's nori, so more in more in animal. More in animal virus. And do you know the, about the coronavirus? Do they have the envelope or not? The COVID-19, do they have the envelope? Yes. Yes, have you ever seen their structures? The structure of the COVID-19? Um, maybe animated? No case. So for the envelope of the virus, they are um, delivered by labor. And they deliver from the nuclear or cytoplasmic membranes of the previous host. So the capsid is from virus, but the envelope <clears throat> is originated from the host cells. But this come from the virus. Uh, however, in the envelope, we have some kinds of the glycoproteins. They are uh, encoded by the virus on genomes. And this may project from the surface of the virions at the spite and may be in treatment if they allow the virus to bind to our penet um, penetrated its host cells. We have a spice glycoprotein here. No, actually it's maybe this spy one, the spy. It is a spike. 
So the NVRF is more susceptible than the capsid to envi uh, environmental pressures, and the virus needs to remain the more in order to survive. Um, consequently, such virus are transmitted by means of the body fluids as the blood or a respiratory system. So, and also the spice proteins is um, very important for, for us to classify these kinds of virus. And you know that we can classify the um, coronavirus by the, the spice proteins in the envelope of them. And also, a virus recognized cells is can infect by matching its surface markers with a receptor on the cell. A certain virus can only attack the certain cell type, and they are said to be specific. So we have a surface of our surface marker here. We have a surface of surface marker. And in the host cell, we have a receptor cell size receptor, and when they can bind, they match rings each other. You can um, this, the host cell can be affected by the virus. Here, so square go with squares, our circle go with circle receptor, and triangle go with the triangle receptor size. They are specific. And then, for example, the rapids only attack the brains or nervous cells and some um, coronavirus, they are attacks out of the lung cells, right? Um, the HIVs attacks our CD4 cell, the one the immune cells, right? So it's very specific. So how the virus can divide and can replicate inside our bodies? Um, this is have two pathways, Sintan and Dimtan, you can see it. Two pathways, we have a lytic pathway and also lysogenic pathway. In the lytic pathway, the virus can affect to the host cells and they will um, replicate, they use the host cells material to replicate their DNAs and also the proteins and then they can assemble new particles, they synthesize new particle, virus particle inside the host cells. And in final step, they will lyse the host cells and to relieve numbers of the new cell or new viruses. But for the lysogenic pathway, the virus will integrate it into the host cell chromosomes. And when the Host cell divides, they divide also the, the genes of the virus so they can increase so many times. At the end, when we have some uh, stress or chemicals um, or radiations or accessories of many um, effects from the uh, uh, environment, these genes will be activated and at least they will return into the lysis when these activators when it is one to produce more viruses so think about this so now this time inside our bodies there is numbers of the cell wall containing the gene from the virus and by some straight arm um, it will activate it and now it turned into the lysis pathway and it generates numerous of the virus and, and it will affect our bodies. So uh, we, most of the virus will go with the lysis pathway, but uh, there are examples of the lysogenic bacterials, um, bacterial fact um, pathways, lambda virus. So the lambda virus will affect the E. coli bacterium and they go into lysogenic pathway. It's more detailed about the lytic pathway because it's the most common pathways are uh, used by the virus. So or uh, in the first step, the virus will attack the host cells. In the second step, they will inject their um, genetic materials 
uh, or they penetrate their genetic materials inside the host cells. And the next step is the replication step. The only protein that can be synthesized and the DNA of the the host of, of the virus will be synthesized and the host DNA degraded. And by the next step, are um, because the DNA of the 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 virus here were formed and they can translate. They were are are um, transcribed into the or mRNAs and proteins uh, or, and then we have we do have the DNAs of the virus and also the proteins code of the virus inside the host cells and the next step they can assemblize the synthesis the late structure proteins and they assemblize into the complete um, virus here and then they can relief like the lysis the host cells the cell membranes of the host cell will be burst and numbers of virus will be relieved so it's all the step of the lysis pathway <clears> or <throat> oh, there is some type kinds of the of, of the virus we have the bacterial uh, bacterial phase here is the virus that infect the bacteria I in the high school maybe you study about the T4 bacterial phase and uh, it's very famous and another case we may have the HIV the HIVs um they can bind into the CD4 cells um in the bodies and they can fusion and um really there's RNA, they are the RNA virus. They are RNA virus cells, they can relieve the RNA here, they merge or have the reverse transcription into the cDNAs and the cDNAs will make a double strain DNAs and these double strain DNAs will go to integrate these DNAs into the our body's um, DNAs, and after that, their transcriptions they produce the mRNA to uh, have the translation into the their proteins, and also we have the RNAs. Uh, they transcription uh, they transcribe into their RNAs. So with the proteins and RNAs, they will uh, have the buildings to form. The maturation of the virus, so number of the HIV virus will be relieved. So the virus with the RNA transcribed to DNA, we call the retroviruses. And HIV is one of them. This or this is virus complex virus we call the virions, but we have a certain type of um, pathogens that is not really virus, but is related to virus. We have the prions. The prions are we call the proteinaceous infection particles. It's cell replicating our proteins responsible for a range of the neuron degenerate disorder in humans and mammal. Have you heard about the Bodian? Um, so these include the bovine or uh, spongy formed encephalopathies or BSLs. We have a mass cause disease, Bodian, and it's human equivalence. So prions can affect the brain and it's always fatal. So all right, there's a question is how could something that's contain no nucleic acids but be capable of replicating itself inside your body? Can you say that again? 
Here is the question. How could something that's contain no nucleic acids be capable of replicating itself inside of your body? So you know that's proteins, proteinaceous. Nó chỉ là một cái phần protein thôi ạ. Nó không phải là một con virus hoàn chỉnh nhưng nó gây rất nhiều bệnh. Đặc biệt là bệnh bò điên. Now they make the proteins, but they can't replicate things inside your bodies. How could it be? À, các bạn tưởng tượng nhá, con virus hoàn chỉnh, một con virus hoàn chỉnh lúc nào cũng sẽ có hai phần đúng không ạ? Một phần đó là DNA hoặc RNA ở trong nhân được gọi là vật liệu di truyền và phần bên ngoài đó là lớp vỏ protein. À, nó gây bệnh là chuyện bình thường của chương trình sinh tan và tiềm tan cô đã giới thiệu. Ngoài ra thì sẽ có một cái loại gọi là prions, tức là các protein mà có thể gây bệnh giống như virus. Và nó có thể đây câu hỏi là nó chỉ là protein thôi thì tại sao mà nó phải nhân lên trong cơ thể để nó gây bệnh được? Protein nature là các cấu trúc mà được tạo thành từ proteins. So think about it at home. So the second thing that it could cause a disease, we call them the viroids. Or is what happened in the plant. Viroids happen in animal. In the virus is a plant pathogen that comprise only are single strains RNAs and do not cause for the protein products. And they cause they are many times smaller than the smallest virus and they consist solely of small circles of the single strains RNAs containing some uh, 30, 100 to 400 nucleotides, nucleotide base and no protein code. So in the previous one, we have the proteins that is made of proteins And next, we have the only single strains RNAs that's been causing the disease without no protein code. Just two other types uh, of the virus can affect the cells. It's not really a virus, the part of the virus that can cause the disease. And for the next, I have the comparison between the viruses and the living cells. The structures, the virus, they have a DNA or an A core in the center, and also the protein coat, we call it capsid. But the living thing, they have a cell membrane, cytoplasms, genetic materials, and also organelles or no organelles, like in prokaryotes. And for the reproductions, we have a copy of each cell only inside the host shells. But the uh, living cell, they, they can replicate by themselves, asexual or sexual. For the genetic materials, the virus is DNA or RNA. This is really important. Or RNA is never both of them. So, but for the living cell, we have a DNA and RNAs. And growth and development actually knows there's no metabolism. So there's no growth, no development. But uh, yes, with the living cells, and actually for the multicellular organisms, even with the unicellular organism, they will increase in the, the size, right? And they also have the metabolism inside them. So obtain and use the energies, no, but the living cell, yes. Even the outer turf or um, heterotroph, they do have the obtain the energies. Like the outer turf is, they create their own foods, but the heterotroph, they They take them from the outer okay? And responsive to the environment, no, there's no responsive to the environment, but the living cell, yes, you can feel that this cell is hot, cold, or still acidic, or the air is fresh, or pollution, etc. And change over time, the virus is no, but the living cell, yes. So uh, can you tell me this, how many characteristics of life do the virus possess? How many characteristics characteristic of life for the virus? It's 
structure, reproduction, grow and develop, obtain the energies, or um, trains over time or now. How many is characteristic? Three. Three. What are these? Uh, structure, reproduction, and genetic material. <laughs> Characteristic of life. For the structures is not really because something will compares from the RNA or DNAs, but it's not living. Reproduction is maybe yes, right? They can replicate, even if it's not inside, it's not by themselves. Genetic materials, um, maybe. And uh, another question, are the viruses living? It's debatable, no, but uh, I, don't I think, think no. no. I don't think virus is living because it living. doesn't have cells. They are? They don't have cells? Is that take right? The, take the whole cells and they are, you were thinking they are, yeah, they are living? It's still debatable. Yes, I'm sure it's still debatable. And they share information between living and non living things. They are in between, it's for me. I'm 50 50 about this. You cannot call them that these non living things, but because they expose some characteristic of livings, but they cannot live with them owned. Um, and there are no metabolism, no growth, nothing about the like the other living thing. They don't use any or any energy source. So, um, so many characteristic of the living thing that we don't uh, we cannot find in the virus. So they are in, in between. And oh, of tiếng Việt thường thì người ta sẽ gọi là virus là một dạng sống không ai gọi nó là một tế bào sống hay là một sinh vật sống cả. Uh, mình tiếng Việt có một từ rất là hay là dạng sống. Chả biết cái dạng dạng gì. But it's not the living thing. Gì cơ? Trong trong tiếng Việt là a life form. We can call it a life form. So it's debatable. So I don't really know. But for me, in my opinion, they are in between the living and non-living thing. Okay. So well, all right. In, in, this is the next is the function of the virus. Or um, the important of viruses, most of the K they are very harmful. They cause disease, number of pathogens, are uh, the virus. Um, the human disease we have this some common cause, influence, smallpox, Ebola, hepax, AIDS, chickenpox, rabies, etc. So, so many diseases caused by the virus, right? And the virus disrupt the body's normal equilibrium and the balance. And the virus can be prevented with the vaccines, but cannot treat with the antibiotics. Antibiotics, remember, this only treat the bacteria. And the beneficiaries of the virus, that's in genetics and engineering, that's the hamlet's virus can carry good genes into the cells. So now I have a question. So guys from the ICTs or cyber securities, can you tell me the common between the virus in the IT fields? Like the virus affects uh, our laptop and the virus affects our you know, bodies. So what the common between them, they, they have the same name, the virus, right? So do you know what's common between them? So we call them the, the virus. The virus attack your bodies and the virus attack your laptop. What the common? They have the same names, right? Yeah. 
have no idea. Sao <cười> virus này tính với virus gây bệnh trên người <cười> có đặc điểm chung là gì ạ? À? No, they're both contagious. The host. It is the host, right? Their commander. It is. They, they use the resource of the host to make more viruses. They re um, reprogramming the host to become uh, the factory for them to produce more virus. Do they the same? So that's why they have the same names. Do you think that? Possibly. <laughs> So, okay, so, uh, I have videos about the virus here, but uh, we don't have enough time. And actually here I showed you that's how the mRNA vaccines can produce, that is your, your Pfizer, Pfizer and Monella, right? How they can produce. So the first day we have the mRNAs, what is called for the spy protein of the virus. Remember the spies? protein that I show you in the protein code. We, we encode, um, we have the mRNA here and we are um, encapsulation that we cover these mRNAs by the lipid layer here. We have a lipid layer, but is LNP is um, lipid nanoparticle. So student from the nano department, you make this. It's very important in the drug delivery, RNP formations. So we packaging these mRNAs inside in a lipid here, and we inject in our bodies, we inject the vaccine here. And then this vaccine will fuse or it will be um, endocytosis, will be engulfed by uh, our cells. And they release the mRNAs. mRNA will be translated into the protein with its brighter, brighter proteins. The viral protein is not come from our body. So then they will send into the MSC receptor. Remember? And then the T cell will go to meet this MSC receptor and they transfer information by no distance. So this activate the immune system. Okay, it's the end of the lesson today. Um, today we have no attendance checks. I give for you no attendance checks today. If you have any question, just send me. And also, actually, in we have the tutorial class. Any question you can ask me in the tutorial class. Okay. All right, goodbye and see you next week.